Hi, I've got another NetGalley arc to talk to you about today and it's um, translated from the Korean and it's Greek lessons by Han Kang and I read The Vegetarian last year I think it was and that is about a woman who is slowly almost being ostracised because she um, decides not to eat meat. This one is very very different well in my opinion it's very very different um it's gorgeously written at times it almost reads like a prose poem at times the the writing is so so special um it's a book that makes you think about language and communication how do we communicate when words are taken from us um we have two characters both of them are unnamed. We have a woman who's lost the power of speech and she is always referred to as in the third person in the novel. And we have a Greek language tutor who is slowly losing his sight and he is always in the first person. And gradually these two in their isolation and loneliness they seem to be removing themselves from the world. But their paths meet, they, they come together when the woman decides to take Greek lessons and this is her tutor. But even in the lessons they do not communicate, she doesn't speak, she can't speak. And we learn her story through her memories. She'd lost her language once before when she was a child. And what brought it back again was the French language, learning French. Um, it seemed to unlock something. And so she's hoping that by learning Greek, a very, very different language, that will unlock her speech again. Um, we also learn about the trauma that she suffered. But in, in her mind, this trauma has got nothing to do with the fact that her speech has gone. Um, the tutor tells us his story, um, his life in Germany and Korea, and the effect losing his sight is having upon him. Both of these characters are telling their story, but you feel as though they are apart from you. There's a distance between you and them. Um, and sometimes with a narrative voice, because she is third person and he is first person, there's a lot of fluidity. It, it moves from one to the other and you sort of take it by surprise sometimes. When they do come together, the tutor talks to her, but she doesn't respond. She doesn't communicate with him. He tells her about himself, but she communicates nothing about herself. And As he's losing his sight, he can't even distinguish her facial expressions to get any idea of what she's feeling, what she's thinking. There is a connection between them. Um, but it is, there is, there is a connection, there is some sort of communication, but it is not a communication of language. This is a book in my mind about language and how language enriches life. Um, because you know, when, when we come into the Greek, in the Greek lessons, the tutor talks about Greek words that have more than one meaning. So it's about how language can enrich life. But 
ultimately it's also about what it means to connect and what it means to communicate to somebody else. Um, those are my thoughts on it anyway. You might have something totally different when you, you read it, but this is what I came away from reading the book with. I found it quite a poignant read. Um, I'd love to know what you think of it, um, how it made you feel. So that is Greek Lessons. It comes out on the 27th of April. So um, happy reading. Take care.